so jumping right in uh, uh would love to uh, cover uh, you know uh, the uh, part of what quicksight is for the people who are new to quicksight or who do not know about quicksight uh, amazon quicksight is a scalable serverless embeddable ml powered business intelligence service built for the cloud uh, quicksight lets you easily create and publish interactive bi dashboards that can be accessed from any devices and seamlessly embedded into your applications portals and websites Going ahead. Uh, sorry, did sorry. I hear? Okay, maybe I'm hearing my own echo. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, going ahead, uh, would love to. Uh, explain the things that we are going to cover today. Uh, so uh, the idea is that by end of the session, uh, uh, we would have learned all about authoring a geospatial visual on Amazon QuickSight, uh, best practices on how to use geospatial visual on your uh, dashboards, and uh, using some advanced analytics on uh, uh, using uh, geospatial uh, visualization on QuickSight. And then we will uh, stop for uh, questions and answers. All right, so uh, first of all, let's start with why geospatial visualization. So, uh, you know, uh, what's so unique about geospatial visualization? So, uh, you know, did you know that uh, geospatial visuals are the only visuals that lets you use the power of where uh, on your uh, uh, dashboards? Uh, while there are many overlapping use cases for other visualizations like lines and bars, charts, uh, or, or your donuts and pie charts, and uh, you know, many other uh, visualization have a lot of overlapping use cases, but uh, for geospatial or uh, for uh, putting the where context uh, in your dashboard, geospatial or the map visuals are the only ones that you can uh, uh, you can use uh, to provide that context and uh, and this helps you uh, tell your story uh, and helps your audience understand the story that you are trying to tell through the data and uh, what does quicksight support on geospatial visualization so uh, there are uh, uh, as of now there are two types of uh, uh, geospatial or map visual that we support uh, one is points on map and second is uh, field maps so uh, points on map helps you plot information by uh, overlapping uh, uh, quantitative values onto the geographical locations uh, using points and then lets you use colors uh, to uh, show the groupings of these points uh, and the second visualization, as I said, is field maps that lets you plot the difference between uh, data values for uh, each location by uh, varying shades of colors. So that's that's about what we have today. Uh, we have a lot of uh, features that are upcoming, uh, of which uh, we will be uh, as and when we launch those features, we will be taking such sessions so that uh, you know uh, people can understand how to use those features. But uh, jumping right in. Let me let me start with uh, uh, like a basic demonstration on how to use these features. Let me see if I'm sharing my correct screen. Yep. All right. So uh, what we are going to cover is uh, you know uh, plotting a basic uh, uh, visualization and uh, you know how to uh, like just for a single country uh, which will have uh, multiple uh, geolocation fields like uh, uh, states, cities, boundaries, and uh, 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 those uh, admin boundaries. Uh, we will be using uh, we will be creating some hierarchies on uh, uh, on these. Uh, uh, and geo files uh, to uh, to use features like you know, drill downs and and stuff like that. Uh, we'll be doing some conditional formatting on some of the geospatial visuals. Uh, we will be seeing how to plot multiple countries uh, and other use cases as we go. All right, so uh, let us start. We'll create a new analysis. Let us use a new data set. So uh, the first visual that I intend to uh, create is uh, for a US uh, zip us geocodes like it will have states and uh, uh, your uh, counties and zip codes uh, and with some value fields uh, to see uh, the basic uh, visualization of uh, uh, on uh, United States.
So, uh, you know, the best practice uh, for using a geospatial visualization on uh, uh, QuickSight is to, uh, you know, always edit your data and create hierarchies in your data uh, so that, uh, uh, you know, you can use uh, advanced functionalities like drilling down uh, uh, into your, uh, when you have your visualization. Uh, does not mean that you have to always create it at the stage itself, uh, but it's recommended that at this stage you edit your uh, uh, data and uh, identify if your geo, geo uh, uh, fields are being correctly identified uh, 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 as per their boundaries uh, and also uh, create hierarchies. In case you miss doing it at this step, you can always go to the analysis and uh, at that time you can always edit the data and come back to the screen. So uh, we'll go to edit data. So now you will see that you know uh, a lot of our uh, geo fields are already uh, identified, automatically identified. So uh, uh, QuickSight uh, works uh, uh, based on a logic uh, where uh, based on your uh, field name uh, or uh, based on the contents of the field, it will try to best auto identify uh, what uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, if it is a, a location field uh, and uh, what kind of location field is it uh, like a state or a county or a uh, you know country uh, but it's always a best practice to just see if if they are auto uh, like correctly identified um, so you will see zip is like postcode latitude longitude everything is like correctly identified city is properly identified uh, state name is identified so i think uh, this this reduces some of our work uh, at this stage, uh, what we recommend is always create hierarchy uh, uh, on your geospatial field so that uh, QuickSight can identify, uh, uh, you know, uh, if you are, for example, uh, plotting a, a county. Now, there are counties that can have overlapping name uh, between multiple states, but when you create a hierarchy, uh, uh, a QuickSight can identify that which, uh, which state county do you mean. So uh, we'll cr quickly create a, a hierarchy here. So you add to a hierarchy, you create a new geospatial hierarchy. So at this stage, uh, QuickSight has identified that you know all the states uh, uh, and the data and this uh, belongs to a single country. And uh, all you have to do is specify which country. And QuickSight lets you populate all these countries. So uh, if, if your country data has got you know, like you know, uh, any of these countries, uh, a QuickSight will identify them. All right, so we created a hierarchy. Now we have to add other location fields to this hierarchy. So we added county name here. Let us also add zip code. All right, so we, we are done with creating the hierarchy. We go to publish and visualize. So here you will see the hierarchy that you have created uh, uh, basically uh, gets uh, uh, tagged so that uh, uh, when you use this on your maps, uh, you can use it as a group and then it will automatically let you drill down. Uh, uh, right now we will wait for the data to ingest. Yeah, data is ingested. We select uh, uh, the map that we want to plot, like a, a point on map or a field map. And we move this to the geospatial uh, field well. So you'll see uh, uh, for United States, uh, uh, it has automatically uh, auto geo coded all the uh, states based on the state name. You can add any value field. And it will automatically size them based on that, uh, 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 based on the value of that field. Uh, you can use color field well to color the uh, locations based on region group. So this is the, the most basic uh, 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 geospatial visualization that QuickSight allows you to do. Uh, it also allows you to interact with your visual, uh, create filters and everything, and uh, auto zooms based on where your data uh, is. So uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, right now, like you know, uh, since uh, all the states are being uh, uh, plotted, uh, it will show me a view where I can see all my states. But for example, if I had uh, created a filter,
and for example, I'm plotting the counties. So it will it will basically uh, try to zoom in uh, wherever uh, uh, you know based on the size uh, of the uh, point, and it will also let me uh, uh, auto zoom back to my uh, zoomed view. So uh, that's uh, for example, if I have zip codes. So yeah, uh, once you, sorry, once you uh, uh, pan and zoom uh, with your uh, uh, maps, uh, uh, it will uh, it will uh, give you uh, an option to zoom back to data. So that's that's your uh, uh, basic uh, uh, you know uh, visualization points on map. Let's go back to the state name. So uh, another type of map that uh, QuickSight supports is the field map. So uh, you can uh, basically uh, have uh, fill the uh, boundaries of uh, of your geolocation uh, based on uh, the value field, uh, and it will uh, vary based uh, on your uh, data that is being populated. So uh, what next? Uh, I also wanted to cover conditional formatting. So uh, in this case, like uh, uh, for field maps, for example, we also let you uh, uh, conditionally format your uh, background color uh, based on the value of the field. So for example, you just go to this, here you click on conditional formatting, you add a background color. So there are uh, two types of, uh, of field types that we allow. One is like a solid color where you can just uh, uh, specify uh, any condition like every state that uh, is, greater than one million, for example. So it will it, it can uh, create these conditions and you can like add multiple conditions to uh, color our data separately. And it also lets you change your uh, gradient color. Uh, so for example, right now we are using this uh, default color, but if you want to uh, basically use a different gradient color, like you know, a, a shade of green, So it will uh, basically uh, use the shade of green to uh, uh, highlight uh, uh, the varying uh, data here. So that's uh, that's our basic uh, uh, maps that we uh, 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 oh, sorry that's our uh, uh, two types of maps that QuickSight supports. Uh, QuickSight also uh, lets you uh, populate uh, maps uh, all over the world. Uh, so uh, for example, like if if you want to uh, plot a map for United Kingdom, I will I will try to uh, show that. Uh, or if you want to plot for multiple countries, you can you can do that as well. So. So let's create a new analysis. Use a new data set here. So let's let's try to uh, create a map for uh, United Kingdom. Again, the best practice is to uh, basically create a hierarchy so that QuickSight understands what, what country and what uh, uh, state uh, uh, your uh, locations belong to. And also recheck if uh, uh, the, the city or uh, counties have been auto-identified. So for example, in this case, the town or, or city is not auto-identified uh, uh, by QuickSight. So you can just change the data type and uh, whatever data it, it belongs to, like for example, city, you can just select that data type. 
and then create a hierarchy. And then add uh, your other location fields to that hierarchy. So uh, now you can populate your uh, 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 maps for United Kingdom. So you can you can populate up till the zip code uh, uh, and uh, QuickSight will automatically identify and zoom it based on where your data density is and uh, uh, let you like, move uh, and interact with the map. So for example, you keep interacting and now you are at a stage where you, you want to go back and reset uh, your view. You can just click on zoom to data and it will uh, take you back to uh, your original view with uh, uh, visibility to all the data. So. Uh, yeah, these these are the kind of uh, maps that you can use now. Uh, uh, using these maps, you can also uh, use map as a filter for your dashboard, like uh, uh, using cross visual filtering. Uh, I can quickly show you that. So we'll go back to the analysis that we had created for United States. Now let's add another visuals to your dashboard. So for example, you want to populate uh, uh, your population based on your cities. Now, uh, you know, uh, now what, what you can do is you can basically use uh, your map as a filter in this case. So now we are using uh, uh, what we created is a quick uh, filter uh, where our map acts as a filter and, and uh, filters everything on the dashboard uh, based on the selection on your map. So uh, for example, here you can like uh, click on Texas and you will see all the cities of Texas uh, up here uh, to view the population. Uh, 